Vilma Banki was a Hungarian-American silent film actress. Although her acting career began in Budapest, and she later worked in France, Austria, and Germany, Banki was best known for her roles in the American films The Eagle and the Son of the Sheik with Rudolf Valentino, and for several romantic teamings with Ronald Coleman. Early life Banki was born on 9 January 1901 to Janos Banki Konksix and Katalin Ulbert, in Nagydorog, Austria-Hungary. Her father was a bureau chief in Franz Joseph's Austro-Hungarian Empire. Shortly after her birth, her father, a police sergeant, was transferred to Budapest, and the family relocated. She had two siblings, an older brother, Gajula and a younger sister, Gisela. After graduation from secondary school, Banki took courses to work as a stenographer, but was offered a role in a film. Her first film appearance was in the now-lost film I am Letzten Augenblick, directed by Karl Bose in Germany in 1919. On a trip to Budapest in 1925, Hollywood film producer Samuel Goldwyn discovered and signed her to a contract. Both her mother and father were vehemently against Banki's acting career as was her fiancé. Nonetheless, she left for the United States in March 1925, arriving to a great deal of fanfare. Career she was hailed as the Hungarian Rhapsody, and was an immediate hit with American audiences. The New York Times remarked in its review of her first American film, The Dark Angel, that she is a young person of rare beauty. So exquisite that one is not in the least surprised that she is never forgotten by Hilary Trent. She appeared opposite silent film star Rudolf Valentino in The Eagle and the Son of the Sheik. Valentino reportedly was fascinated by Vilma, and chose her as the leading lady in the films. She also appeared opposite Ronald Coleman in a series of love stories, including The Dark Angel and the winning of Barbara Worth. It is commonly believed that her thick Hungarian accent led, with the advent of sound, to her career being cut short. However, she began losing interest in films and wanted to settle down with Rod LaRock and simply be his wife. By 1928, she had begun announcing her intention to retire in a few years. Of her 24 films, eight exist in their entirety with Max Linder, The Son of the Sheik, The Eagle, The Winning of Barbara Worth, The Night of Love, A Lady to Love, and The Rebel, and three exist in fragments. Post-acting career Her post-Hollywood years were spent selling real estate with her husband and playing golf, her favorite sport. In 1981, Banky established an educational fund, the Banky LaRock Foundation. Personal life and death She married actor Rod LaRock in 1927. They remained married until his death in 1969. The couple had no children. Banky died on 18 March 1991, from cardiopulmonary failure, aged 90, but notice of her death was not made public until the following year. She was reportedly upset that no one had come to visit her in her last years, and directed her lawyer to make no mention of her death. Her ashes were scattered at sea where her husband's had been consigned. For her contributions to the film industry, Banky received a motion picture star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame in 1960. Her star is located at 7021 Hollywood Boulevard.